All right, so I'm going to be replacing the battery on this 13 inch MacBook Pro uh, model A1278 late 2011, All right? So we're going to need a uh, PH or J JIS zero screwdriver, as well as um, I think it's a Y1 or um, what would you call this? Tri-wing 3.0. All right, so anyways, let's go ahead and get the replacement battery out. Okay, so here's what the replacement battery looks like. They put some plastic stuff on top. We're gonna have to peel that out. This is an aftermarket battery. But anyways, let's go ahead and use the PH0 or JS0 to remove all the screws on the bottom. You wanna keep them in order because they are different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, I put the flat side down like that on my desk. In the pattern, I remove them. All right, so we're just gonna remove it in this rectangular pattern. All right. And we're gonna keep track of those screws by putting them in that order on my desk. All right, if this video helps you, make sure to like, subscribe, and share my channel with others so that they can also learn how to repair or upgrade their devices. I can already tell that this battery is like bulging or inflated out. These three screws here on this side are longer than the rest. Um, but again, it's always a good idea to keep all the screws in order just in case there are other minor differences. So it's missing a couple screws here. Okay, but anyways, let's go ahead and get rid of all of them. Of course, you also wanna make sure your Mac is off before you do this. Okay, so just make sure to shut it down completely, not put it into sleep mode. All right. Okay, now we got all the screws out. Let's go ahead and remove the cover here. Right, it's not too dusty. I'll get out a little bit of the dust, but it doesn't really need to be blown out or anything. It looks okay. This battery is somewhat inflated here. It's not too bad, but it is inflated. All right, so to disconnect the battery, let's go ahead and zoom in here. I have other videos showing how to do the RAM and the hard drive, so if that's what your goal is, you can watch those videos. My customer's waiting outside, so I need to do this somewhat quick. All right, we're gonna pop the battery connector out here. Just lift it up there, just like that. Okay, usually I would use both fingers and then go up like that. Of course, you can use pry tools or whatever works for you. All right, let's zoom out. Okay, so now we're going to use the tri-wing screwdriver or the Y, y screwdriver. All right, so let's go ahead and switch here. Um, usually it doesn't matter what size the number is, just make sure as long as you can use your screwdriver and it gets a good fit, you can use that, all right? So a lot of people ask me what size screwdriver. You actually wanna get a screwdriver kit. Don't just get like one screwdriver to do this. Um, also, if you buy the battery, a lot of times you can't, if you just only want the screws, screwdrivers just for that job, some of the batteries will come with the screwdriver so you can also buy that. All right, once you remove those two screws, you can actually just lift this up and then you can slide this out just like that. Here you can see this battery is kind of inflating to the point where it's showing the battery packs underneath. All right, we're gonna peel off this clear plastic stuff from the new one. Okay, same thing with this side. Just like that. That's just to keep it from getting scratches on it. All right, then we put the new one in, just slide it down like this. All right, I use this uh, Ninja Bat. I've had pretty good luck with all these with their batteries. And I think they have like one year warranties. If you want a link, I can send you one. But um, yeah, there's a lot of different batteries on Amazon that will also have one year warranties. So there's no specific brand that you need to use. <clears throat> All right, but this one I found works pretty well. So let's go ahead and get this screw in. I don't know if the bending of that thing caused this not to align right. So yeah, I think maybe when the battery bulged, it made this not, let me slide it over a little. There we go, okay. Get those screws in. All right, this one actually comes with the screwdrivers, but I like using my screwdrivers because they're better quality. They hold hold up better and there's less chance I'll strip the screws. All right, now we're just going to reconnect this battery cable. So let's zoom in here. <clears throat> All right, so to do this, you kind of have to rotate this cable over. Sorry, the camera's shaking around. So you just have to like grab this and rotate it over, then line it up. All right. I like to make sure, it's hard to show this on camera, but I like to make sure that the top edge lines up properly, just like this, okay? 
and then we'll just push it down just like that. All right, then you can check the battery capacity here by pushing this little button. You can check the green lights. Here you can see it's almost full already, so that's good. Let's go ahead and zoom out, and then let's go ahead and put the bottom cover back in. So this is a very simple upgrade. As you can see, there's an SSD in here and a RAM here too. Again, I have other videos showing that, but my customer needs their computer back right away, so I'm going to just put this back together now. Okay, put that back on, switch back to the PH0 or JS0 screwdriver, and let's go ahead and put back these screws. All right, just going down the line. Okay. Um, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, one other thing after replacing the battery, I like to do a PRAM and SMC reset. <clears throat> so PRAM is spelled P-R-A-M, all right, and SMC is just the letters SMC. If you're curious uh, what those things do, you can Google it. Basically, it's somewhat like a BIOS reset, okay? Whenever I change, like, major hardware components, I like to do that reset just to make sure that the computer registers the new hardware, okay, and it doesn't have issues. So this cover's kind of messed up, so I have to kind of pull it over while I put this screw in. Go. So the customer was reminding me that uh, last time they had a charging issue, and then what happened was they um, tried to pry out the charge port and they actually like completely destroyed the charge port and all the magnets came out. That was that was like the first and only time I've ever seen that happen. So I was like, whoa, what's going on with this? But uh, yeah, so let's do the PRAM and SMC reset. All right, got all the screws back in. SMC reset, normally you would do this with the charger in so that you can see. Let me see if, I, let me grab my charger real quick to see if I can show you this. Okay, chargers here. All right, so we're gonna plug this in. And usually what you'll see is the light will be orange, assuming that it's not like 90% or more, all right? So here you can see the battery's orange right now. So to do the SMC reset, what you do is control, option, shift. Oh, it's already starting up, so let me, let me actually stop this. Well, I guess we'll just let it start up and then we'll restart it. Come on. Okay, it's already booting itself. All right, let me shut it down. And I don't know if, if you've seen how quick it booted up. That's because of the SSD. So let's go ahead and do the SMC reset. So I'm just shutting down the computer right now. All right, as, after the SMC and PRAM reset, it should actually make it a little bit faster. So right now the light here is orange. What we're going to do is control option shift on the left side and then power button. It should go to green, then back to orange. That's how you know you did the SMC reset properly. All right, the computer might start itself up again. Okay, good, it didn't. So now we're gonna do the PRAM reset. To do the PRAM reset, you power it on, and then you do command option PNR. You'll hear the chime, just keep holding it. You'll see the screen shut off, you can let go, or you can wait till you hear the chime a second time. That also tells you that you did the PRAM reset properly. So there we go, it should be starting up again on its own, and that's how we know we did the PRAM reset. All right, so now we're gonna wait, let this thing boot up. So I don't know if you can see how fast that bar is moving down there. So if your computer is slow, um, keep in mind, all you need to do is upgrade to an SSD and you'll have your computer a lot faster like this. All right, battery showing 84% and it's working without the charger plugged in, so we're good to go. All right, so that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.